Good morning everyone. Myself, I am Satya Shekhar of SI Civil Engineering, Trinity College of Engineering. My topic for design project is Amphibious House. I have a team member and his name is Omni Krishnan G. Babu. And our project is guided by Hema Miss, Assistant Professor, Civil Department, Trinity College of Engineering. Let us have a look on our overview. The presentation includes abstract, introduction, literature review, objectives, future scope, and the reason why we selected this specific topic and its reference. Abstract. We all know that floods are acts of God, but Flood losses are largely acts of man. Here, amphibious house is a house which helps to encounter the problem of floods and losses causing due to floods to houses. The concept we use here is buoyant force. Use of non-renewable sources like solar with affordable and bearable techniques are also considered. Amphibious house is a highly innovative approach to protect our houses during extreme flooding. It behaves like a norm, normal simple house and it will float during floods void with flood water. The bottom part of the house has a float base which acts like the hulk of a ship and it is made up of a waterproof material. Literature review. I had gone through two journals. First one was written by Mohit Talwar and Das, and it it is about the ferrocement in construction. Uh, when we compare ferrocement with RCC, it performs better against cracks. I mean, ferrocement performs better in cracks, and thicker ferrocement structures are light in weight as compared with this RCC. This is what I. I had get from this journal and and I had gone through a study on the floating house for new resilient living it was done by Chacho Chanko Moon uh, during this October 2015 and it helps to investigate the resilient features of floating houses and to review the possibility of floating house as a new form of resilient living and to suggest some ideas for the planning and design of this specific construction. Objectives. Our main objective is to use non-renewable and sustainable sources of energy for the functioning of this amphibious, amphibious house and to enable the owner, enabling the design structures as per suggested by the owner. And our future scope is that we are trying to increase the number of floor in this specific type of house, floating houses along with the parking management of vehicles. The reason why this topic. As we all know from last three years, we the peoples of Kerala are aware about seasonal floods and the losses and damages caused by these floods. So to encounter the problems of flood and the losses causing due to the flood, floods to houses is the main reason why I prefer this topic and to create beautiful buildings that allow occupants to enjoy living near water safely during this flood time. Thank you and have a nice day.